another sexual assault. Police say the assaults have mainly occurred at apartment complexes in the area of Hebner and Babcock Roads. Since January, we've been reporting on a series of attacks on women in that area. The latest in what appears to be a series of rapes dating back to at least January. Serial predator sexual predator. It's been about two months and police are still investigating recent sexual assaults in the medical center area. They are also still needing leads in response to surveillance video of a possible suspect. This morning, an 18-year-old San Antonio man now charged in a seventh case connected to several rapes over in the medical center area. Anton Harris. 18-year-old Anton Harris. Anton Harris. Anton Harris. New details this noon in the case of Anton Harris, the accused medical center rapist. You've heard his name extensively throughout our KSAT coverage, and you'll hear about Anton Harris a lot more in the coming weeks. He's accused of terrorizing the medical center area for about two years. But it wasn't just the northwest side that was on high alert. The search for the attacker garnered the attention of the entire city. After months on the run, then 17-year-old Anton Harris was arrested on June 8th, 2017. As he awaits his fate, we take a look back at how this case has played out so far. A shuffle to a police car is worlds away from the walk 18-year-old Anton Harris took recently across the stage to get his diploma. Police say it's because of what he did outside the classroom. The serial predator sexual predator who was working up in the medical center area. Chief William McManus announced his arrest last night in a story we've been following for months. Women attacked at several apartment complexes there. And that's what made this case so difficult. The area was very wide. The fear also was widespread, but now so is the relief. Good, good. I'm glad they did because Everybody was worried. Uh, so glad they caught him because it was very scary, especially for single people. Harris is charged in four rapes and one attempted rape. One happened two years ago. Police say there may have been more. We've learned that up until a few days ago, Harris was a student here at Marshall High School. A Northside ISD spokesman confirms that he was in the graduating class earlier this week. This is also where police collected some of their most key evidence tying him to this case. An arrest affidavit says detectives already were looking at Harris as a person of interest. And they obtained a cup and straw he left behind on a school table. The affidavit says DNA from that matched the DNA from the crime scenes. Now the new graduate may be looking at a future behind bars. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. Just one day after his arrest, our KSAT team got their hands on court documents detailing the disturbing way Harris carried out the crimes. Courtney Freeman studied those documents where police say he confessed to some of the assaults. Some were raped, some were robbed, but all were scarred by the attacks. Officers explained in these affidavits during a recorded interview Thursday after his arrest, Anton Harris admits to several of the specific attacks. He confessed he used a knife on May 19th to threaten a woman and ran when a car came. The victim in that case told police she was in her car and someone was trying to open it. When she got out, a man was crouched outside and attacked her with a knife. Over a 22-month period from March of 2015 up to last week, Harris's DNA was linked to six assaults at medical center apartment complexes. On June 3, 2016, a woman let her cat out of the apartment and then heard a scratching sound at the door. When she opened it, a man was crouched outside and forced his way in with a knife. He stole cash from her and then raped her. December 22, 2016, a woman heard a series of knocks at her door. She didn't see anyone through the peephole, but eventually opened the door. She says a man in a hoodie and mask forced his way in with a knife, took her cash and raped her. A similar story just a month later on January 15th. A woman heading into her apartment turned to find a man pointing a gun at her. She was robbed and raped as well. Then just last week, another woman was held at gunpoint walking into her apartment. She says the attacker stole her iPhone and mini iPad and then sexually assaulted her. In yesterday's interview, Harris confessed to using a knife and handgun in the attacks, to having sexually assaulted a woman on May 28th and other women dating back to 2015. 
In August 2019, Harris went before a judge pleading guilty, hoping to strike a deal that would have sent him to prison for 40 years. Anton Harris, who is accused of threatening and sexually assaulting at least five women with a guilty plea in court today. We came to a plea agreement with the state of Texas. Uh, we accepted the plea agreement and it's going to be up to the judge whether he's going to follow that. And we've been reset for sentencing on August the 20th. Do I explain to both parties that I may accept this offer, I may not. The court does have some reservations about that this is enough time looking at these on face uh, the indictments, the amount of victims that were involved. The decision was left up to Judge Frank Castro, who spoke with the victims who strongly opposed the plea deal. In a rare move, Castro rejected the Harris plea. A big factor in his decision was the fact that Harris initially said that he was innocent in his pre-sentence investigation, and so the trial began. Also in court today, jury selection beginning in the case of the alleged medical center rapist. This is video from SAPD officer Angela Murray's body cam as she responded to a call for a sexual assault at a medical center apartment complex. Her first contact, a nurse who told her she'd been raped and robbed just minutes earlier. Due to the nature of this case, we're not identifying the victim. Crystal Montez was among the first witnesses in his trial. She was the victim's apartment complex neighbor and heard her scream for help. Can you describe the scream? To the it, it was just like a like a like a like a yell, like a ah, like a scream, and then it was it was like a shortened scream followed by a second scream. Um, what did you think when you heard that? Scream? I didn't know what to think. I thought it was odd. I heard banging on the doors and someone was um, banging on all the doors asking for help. Um, I knew that was definitely not normal. And then a loud banging on her door. She goes, please, I was raped. I'm like, what? And I'm like, oh my God. And at this point she was standing in front of my door. Um, I pulled her in and she was crying. Kimberly Pettis' late night walk with her dog would ultimately give police the break they were looking for as they investigated a series of sexual assaults in the medical center area, according to prosecutors. I saw this male all of a sudden kind of pop out of the big bush that was there. And there's also a tree right next to it. And it startled me and it also startled my dog. What was he wearing? Um, a gray hoodie that like looked like it zipped. As she hurried away, Petta said her dog kept barking. So I pulled the dog. My instinct was to pull my dog and get control of my dog. I didn't, want, I didn't know what he was doing. Her description matched what another woman reported her attacker was wearing when she was raped while going into her nearby apartment three days later. And it fit the description of Anton Harris, 17-year-old recent graduate of Marshall High School. If Harris is convicted, he could spend the rest of his life in prison. And this case is one of just five cases in which he's been charged. He's still awaiting trial in four more aggravated sexual assault cases and a robbery case. Paul Venom, a case at 12 News.